If we give him leverage on Nomis, what's gonna stop that bitch from wanting to kill us? Tell us what this sneaky bitch is up to. Nomis, my client. The allegiance is with me. I'm hearing she's making more moves. I already got a plan for her. Detective Carter's after you. Killing the cop ain't easy. I don't think we have a choice. Backing down is not an option. Hands where I can see him! What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm ODIJ and we are locked in. This is what's next for episode 8 of Power Book 2, Ghost, Tired Calling. Now, we've seen the body. Diana finally got her one. The baby isn't here. The Tejadas now all work, well, except for Kane, all work for Don Carter and Tariq has been hit with the Europa dope and now he's a part of this BS and he has to find out how to get out of this situation. Even Tasha told him to chill. You don't need to be involved with unaliving a cop. Now before we jump into this and we break down the trailer for episode 8, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit that body in the weekend. So if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe now let's go ahead and jump into this trailer and remember these are the last three episodes eight nine and ten and we should see so much more action man ghost you're doing it with this finale but let's jump into it this is the what's next for episode eight of ghost the first thing we see in the trailer is don carter and remember he has drew diana monet and Tariq up under him he wants leverage on noma now, they don't want to give leverage on Noma because this is their only connect with the Russians being out of here. There's nowhere else to go and get some money. But they do need to work with Don just for the simple fact that this Felicia unaliving is going to come back on him. And he's the only person that can really clean it up. We do find out that Effie got some data off of Nico's computer, but that's not going to be enough. Don Carter is the missing piece to this puzzle. Monet and Tariq are trying to figure it out. And we hear exactly what i was talking about she's talking to Tariq. why would we give leverage on noma if we give leverage on noma don is going to mess up everything and then we'll just all be out of the game but you have to understand in power there's only one person that actually had an end goal and that was james st patrick everyone else is content with staying in the game but monet she's talking to Tariq. we can't give this leverage to don or that's just going to put us up under the dirt because can we really trust a dirty cop they got Tariq here looking confused. He's like, finally, Monet actually has a plan. But at the same time, I'm just trying to finish school graduate. I got some money waiting on me. Felicia's already gone. I'm kind of not in this, but we know Don Carter is leaning on Tariq because he does believe, just like we do, that he's smarter than all of the Tejadas. So Tariq is just listening to Monet, and he's kind of confused because he wants out of the game. But he's trying to figure out an exit strategy for him that would make the best sense. Get from up under Dine, kind of throw Noma up under the bus, and then be done with the Tejadas. Davis has been working directly with Noma, and he's telling her how to manage her assets. Since she isn't a citizen, put somebody American in charge. We also know that Kane basically proposed, but he wanted to do it as a business deal. So Davis, you know, he's wherever he can get in. He's losing his license. Noma... She's wide open, no pun intended. So for him, she's a new client. And we see that he's telling Tariq and Monet, hey, Noma's my client. I can't really give you that much information. But Tariq is also telling him, hey, man, your allegiance, hey, it's with me. I'm the one that brought you in and introduced you to everybody. So Tariq, as I mentioned earlier, he's trying to find his exit strategy. How can he get from up under Don Carter, throw Noma up under the bus, and slowly step away from the Tejadas? That's why he needs Davis. Remember, Davis, even though he's losing his license, he still has connections. He still has the resources. So that's why Tariq is trying to keep Davis on his side. But if Davis is getting paid by Noma, we know that Davis's loyalty is to whoever got the dollar. Remember, he's been running things up, $500,000. Man, he hit the Tejadas over their head. He hit Tariq over their head. So you already know he was trying to get the majority ownership of what Noma has. And Tariq is sensing like, man, I see what you're doing. You're trying to make moves behind my back. When we were the ones that went over to Noma to take out Zion in order to get a piece of that pie. If you look at Drew and Don, they're starting to become a father-son duo. He's closer to Don than he was to Lorenzo. But Drew got out of jail because he handled the Roman situation. And now Don just got him as a right-hand man. They cleaned up the Felicia body. And you hear Drew talking about, man, I'm hearing that Noma's on the move. So Drew, even though he's a part of the Tejada family, 
at this point it's kind of like he's by himself remember diana kind of played him when it came to the whole kate egan situation and setting up their mother so he's really at the discretion of don carter so he's actually giving don all the truth remember when don popped up at felicia's house he said drew he told the truth so now drew is just riding around with don carter he's basically a, a deputized deputy <laughs> so Tariq is putting everything into play he sits down with noma he sits down with kane and he tells him listen we got to get rid of don carter we work for don carter but don carter is after y'all so unless we all get on the same page it's gonna get ugly for everybody you look at monet over in the corner she ain't saying much because you know she has issues with noma already and she was basically protecting noma to a certain extent but Tariq is like listen we need to come together at least for this last time and get don carter out of here because even if don is crooked he still has the upper hand being that he's in law enforcement so he can persuade he can write these reports any old kind of way but unallowing a cop isn't an easy duty we know that Tariq is about that life but it's kane and noma really to get into this situation especially with noma not having any citizenship it looks like Tariq and Braden, Tariq tells them there's no backing down. So they're going to be all over the place. We see them kicking in the door. I don't know who they holding up yet, but it has to be somebody for Don Carter. Because Don ain't playing around. No man ain't playing around. And Tariq has to get from up under this mess. Plus, you got to remember, Braden doesn't have anything going on. So when they say ride or die, we got to look at Braden. So kick it in here with all your designer clothes on. We know it's not going to end good for whoever's on the other side of that barrel. But Tariq and Braden, hey man, the new James and Tommy. Well, at least that's what they pretend to be. And the last thing we see is Tariq, he's upset about something. So maybe Braden was in here off the booger sugar and maybe pulled the trigger. There's no telling with these two. But hey, two more episodes after episode eight. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. All right, there you go. What's next for episode eight? Let me know what you think about Tariq. Is he playing the game the right way, trying to backdoor Noma while helping out Don Carter? Or is it vice versa, backdooring Don Carter while helping out Noma? Because at this point, everyone needs everyone. There's no one that you can look at and be like, all right, this person is trustworthy, but we do need the assistance from them. And also, what major death do you think is going to happen in episode eight? Let me know what you think. I'm ODIJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm on the road to 50K. Hopefully, we'll get it by the end of the week. But make sure you tune in tonight for the after show on the clock, where we talk about each and every character at 9 p.m. my time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for watching. I'm out.